All right, can do a little experiment here. <clears throat> a friend of mine told me uh, you neutralize the rust with some baking soda. So got some baking soda here. Spread a little on. I got some 220 grit sandpaper. Pretty, pretty smooth. I mean, as far as sandpaper goes. A little. See what happens here. Yeah. Be careful to keep the. Uh, Sandpaper moving. I don't stay in one spot too long. I'm not pressing real hard or anything. Okay. So, blow it off with the compressor. tell a difference on the camera here lightened it up a little bit I'm not really crazy about that but uh so now um, normally what you would do from there is take some clear coat I got some matte clear here just some I don't know some cheap stuff uh, VHT I forgot what it stands for but get it at the parts store but uh, normally, from here, if I can get this top off, give it a clear coat. Um, last time I clear coated, um, what happened was um, it came out where it had like a turquoise tint to it, and I didn't like it. So I sanded it down and redid it, but that was on the hood. So I'm just going to do a little section here. Point at the right direction. Just want to kind of fade it off because I, just in case I don't like it, I don't have to redo everything. And uh, let's see how that turns out. And I also got some motor oil here. I'll do some other sections and some dirty motor oil. See how that comes out. I had some linseed oil, but I don't know what happened to it. But uh, we're gonna do some dirty motor oil next. All right. So now, in about, I don't know, maybe five minutes. It's pretty good to me actually. Worked out a lot better than it did last time. Um, but we'll see what happens when it dries by tomorrow. Um, do another video of an update of the whole truck. But um, for right now, just get some dirty motor oil. I didn't bring back the part store yet, and just grab piece piece of an old shirt here. And now, put this here. I'd rather spill this in the truck if anything. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of start from where I finished up clear coating. Let's see how this works out. And really just, uh, I'm trying to find a way of uh, clear coating the truck. And getting a good look for it without it rotting away. Um, down here is still going to be welded and that's why I'm practicing over here but uh, I'm gonna weld some pieces in here and you know it's it, it's ratted but it's totally functional but uh so uh, I'm just trying different methods of uh, um, neutralizing uh, the rust here or I don't know I guess neutralizing it with the uh, baking soda but um trying to seal it in order to 
you know, protect it from rotting away because I don't want the truck to go anywhere. I just want it to uh, be different, do my own thing here. So probably just going to pour some oil on it in a minute. But um, like I said, just kind of finish off from where I started before. And uh, so what, uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah, you can definitely see the difference. So here's the clear coat, here's the oil, and here's the original. And uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do a little section here and let it dry for a while and then uh, kind of compare and decide what I wanna do. So I can always uh, re-sand it and add some more rust to it. Um, Shredding, shredding my shirt here. From all the coarseness of the, all the rust. My favorite shirt. You know, it probably was. Who knows? Wear wear clothes so long. My wife uh, makes me turn them into rags. Just keep wearing them. I kind of like that dirty motor oil. The only thing is if I use the dirty motor oil, I have to do it again every year. It's only going to last so long. It'll, it'll last through some rain. It only lasts so long. The clear coat will last a lot longer. Um, and I think also what I'm going to do before I end this video is... Um, I'm going to take some clear coat here. Clean off my hands real fast there. That slippery oil off me. So, I'm going to take some clear coat here. I'm going to do a small section here with no um, baking soda and see. Uh, See what it looks like. See how it turns out. All right, so do that for a couple minutes, and see how it turns out. Definitely looks a lot smoother on this clear coat. And this one over here. Right. I mean, granted, it's only been maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, something. But, uh, it was pretty dry for the most part. Not set and cured and whatnot, but, uh, I don't see many be turning blue or anything oil definitely ain't doing nothing over here yeah it definitely seems to uh, it's not coming up on the camera I'll try to get a different angle here focus here so right here I mean, this is all uh Motor oils starting right around here, and you can see you know, where the motor oil kind of even smooths out the rust a little bit. And over here, it didn't smooth that at all. If anything, the camera is showing it up really bright, but. It's not coming up right. Alright, so let's try to... Alright, this is definitely... Right, try to get the camera to focus there. And it definitely keeps the coarseness. So far it's not turning blue. Maybe I didn't coat it enough the original time. Or maybe because where I did it original... I'm sorry, not original, where I 
tried it the first time it was on the hood where it had real rust some of this rust I've added so you can definitely see a difference on this when you look from this angle what you see right here in my view looking with my naked eye looks a lot different than it does over here and what I and not really necessarily in a good way it definitely has a weird shade to it and it doesn't seem to be you know it kind of seems to be soaking in more and more than adhering to it and I wonder if that's why it was giving that 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 look to it before so seems to me that although I like the oil look it seems to me like this is really the best look for it because uh, I used a, a matte clear so it's really not coming up shiny at all but uh, it smoothed it out and it definitely uh, seemed like it sealed it a lot better yeah the motor oil seemed to seal it but it seems like it's just laying on top of it like it's gonna have to wait for a nice warm day and uh, see how it soaks it in but I'll have to check on another video and uh, we'll see what I decided to do but there you have it I gave uh, three different ways okay so baking soda clear coat dirty motor oil regular clear coat and nothing now the clear coat on the camera doesn't look too much different in person giving it kind of a uh, I don't know yellowish bluish type of look I don't know if that makes any sense but really kind of hard to describe it just has kind of a um, almost rainbow type of look to it but not really in a good way so you can use your own judgment but uh, at least you have uh, some relative ideas to go by you know I did all the way back here with this and like I said everything seems to be um, a lot cleaner and smoother and I didn't even sand here but I did uh, do the uh, baking soda you know in other words I just kind of ran the baking soda over it with the sandpaper real fast and up here is the only place I really sanded and um, seemed to seal it pretty well so I guess my friend was right I think that's the way I'll be going but we'll be deciding more tomorrow so if you have any questions comment <laughs>